So we've been working on the trailer for the last five weeks. Uh, Ryan, we have one builder, and myself have been running around like crazy, and for some odd reason, I set a deadline for my birthday, May 7th, to start um, to have our opening day, and it's just friends and family coming um, to celebrate the opening and get together and kind of test our food and see what's happening. Lindsay wanted me to have every single item on the menu the first day, and I told her, I said, that's probably not gonna work out. I think I prepped 56 things myself this morning, yesterday, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> really about keeping it fresh and clean and um, so I'd rather sell out of an item instead of have extra and then feed it to someone when you know that's that's not proper that's not how I like to cook and I've been a personal chef for 10 years and so you know the fresh food is what I'm all about. So how our truck is different from other trucks is it is one of the first fully built commercial kitchen trailers in Boulder, if not Colorado. Not concession trailer, but it's like a, a full commercial kitchen. So we're not like a roach coach. We can we don't have to go to a commissary. We have six sinks, we have a nine foot hood, we have a grill, flat top, deep fryer. It's a vessel of gas and electricity. That's like the most important part so I there's like a checklist of stuff and I just learned it last night so I really hope I can remember everything so we don't blow up. I'm so tired from already prepping from today and yesterday and getting the trailer. I hope it all goes well. I know the food is good and I know we have a lot of people coming so I just hope I can you know get it all done before four o'clock because I'm running out of time. I should actually probably go. <laughs> I think today's going to be a shit show, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, we have Ryan's mom who owns the School of Natural Cookery, her school, which is awesome, it's great, but her and her daughter, who's Ryan's sister, they run the school, that's great, but they've never had restaurant experience. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. These are our slow cooked onions for the tempeh tacos. And we had them going for a while there, so looks like those are on their way. Uh, this is the shredded beef for the uh, beef tacos. And we also have a teriyaki uh, chicken. This is the soup. So this is the creamy butternut squash soup. I'm a bit nervous about the cash register that we purchased. Um, I didn't actually read the manual, so I <laughs> left it up to today to um, figure it all out. Why is it doing You know, I assumed, hey, it's a party, people are going to chill, drink, maybe have a, you know, something to eat when, you know, at their leisure or whatnot, but everybody literally walked up and was bang, 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 ordering, ordering, ordering. I have all these beets, okay? These salads, I have okay. all the beets. Are they separate orders or with Yeah. Can I give me one second? I didn't take down anybody's name, so I was like, grilled cheese, grilled cheese. the first order of a burger went in. I, I go with the spatula right when the burger's done and it drops on the floor. Vince, Vince, the burger fell on the floor. To who? That guy's burger just fell on the floor. Yeah. So you can't take any more orders from Pepsi Vince. Hey Vince, can you stagger the orders a little bit and have people order in like five minutes? Can you stagger the orders a little bit? Actually, I have been. Can you wait five minutes? Are you kidding? I just waited two one Bugolbi, two, two tuna milks. I don't know about any of this. We don't have tuna on the menu. <laughs> the corn dogs. Oh my God, I was so busy and everything was going and I had all my baskets out with fries and whatever. You lost a dog. No, I lost two dogs. You lost two dogs? I shouldn't have, I should have used the basket. Okay, let's right do it. Here. No grates were in and the, 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 no basket, the baskets, so nothing goes down into the deep fryer and this these two corn dogs, I just dropped them in and they disappeared into the darkness of the grapeseed oil. Dude, I lost two dogs down there. Now I'm gonna have to shoot them down. Then like half an hour later, they pop up perfectly. Just I was just like, corn dog, ready to go. 
Now about an hour down. One order, yeah, one order, mom. Yeah, one handful. The first experience is actually great and why we wanted to do it in the first place is for friends and family to come together and kind of test the food, tell us what they thought. My mom was going around with a clipboard asking people what they would change. Um, a lot of the critiques um, were to shorten our menu. So immediately the next day we had a meeting. Um, we lowered the prices a teeny bit because I mean, the reason why they were higher was because it's all organic. A lot of it's organic, fresh food, but, um, you know, people, it's a food truck, and people may not want to pay $11, $12 for a bagolgi. You know, you're working out the kinks, and now we have barbecue brisket and the burger, and those are two top sellers, so glad we have it. I really thought that I wasn't ready, but, I mean, it just forced us into being ready, so it was good. I mean. The, everyone and the food was amazing. So as long as the food's amazing, then I don't really care how much t pain, torture, agony, f like frustration, everything. But it just means a lot to me that I, I know I can do it, I do it good, and everything is delicious that comes out.